What's up coaches? Coach Career from GeneralGridiron.com. Today's topic is going to be the Sally play, aka the counter draw. It's a, a play that's evolved over time. Obviously it's rooted in Delaware, which my background is in, but I think it's a fun topic to discuss because a lot of people these days don't mess with the play because they think it's too expensive and coaching intensive when it's really not. Hopefully after I'm done breaking this down, you'll see how it can apply to any level of football from ages seven to 16. I ran it with nine year olds. I just watched a video of one of my teams running it a couple years ago that my friend has all the cut ups of nine year olds running this plate of protection off the belly action. Here, I'm gonna show you the different actions you could run it off of. This is just four actions. There's a Sally play with the fullback as well and a couple other versions we could do with quarterback and tailbacks. But here, I'm just gonna keep it rooted in the wing type systems. This first one here is gonna be what we would consider our red formation. Red means double wing with a split end to the left. We're gonna run this off a die fake. So we're gonna get our three step motion from our right wing. He's gonna motion across through that, that line should be a little more clear. It should be through the fullback's feet because we're gonna try to get some movement from these linebackers to run underneath them. A couple intricacies of this plays that are absolutes. The backside of the play always has to block firm has to block firm on the backside. So in this situation, that's the left guard and left tackle. They need to fan out the defensive end and the outside linebacker. The fullback who is faking the dive has to isolate this play side mic because we need to get a hat from. The center will take the nose wherever he wants to go, whether right or left, but wash him out the play. On the play side, which is the right guard, right tackle, or right tight end, we will pass set. Now, on this play, the, the technique to it is we are going to read this defender right here. These two guys, these two gentlemen right here will read this defender. The four technique or five, whatever you want to call them, four technique or five technique defensive end. If he spikes to the B gap, the guard will take him and the tackle will climb to the play side linebacker. If he spikes to the C gap, the tackle will take him and the guard will climb. The tight end is going to pass set, draw this Sam up the field and we're gonna lock on to him. We're using the defense's aggressiveness to run underneath them and create us our lanes. So there, this tailback here, just like on his counter steps or his wingback counter or crisscross steps, will drop step and aim for the center's butt. With the design of the play, if, if the defense is overcharging and aggressive with the three-step motion of the H-back, the die fake of the fullback and the faking of the option, we should get some flow here and get this play to be clear right up the middle of the defense. Now, we call it a two or one play, but it's really a pick em play for this running back because this hole could be anywhere in here, in here, or in here, depending on how the defense is playing. So as soon as he sees the opening, he just needs to hit it. Once he gets the ball and is square, aiming for the centers, but this play can hit anywhere out here. Very rarely will it hit outside, but I've seen situations where it could break all the way outside if the defense is totally undisciplined. So there's the first one, dive Sally out of our red formation. The next formation is in our flex look, where it's gonna be like Army and Navy, where it's gonna be two split ends, two wings, and this is a Sally ice play. This is a variation where we're gonna have a lead blocker now. So on the back side of this play, once again, would be the right side, because we're running it left, we are gonna block firm. So out of our flex look, which is the Army Navy formation, we're gonna show a different variation of Sally, which is Sally Ice off a of rocket motion. So on the back side of the play, we are gonna block firm. We're always gonna stay consistent with our rules. On the front side of the play, starting with the center, he will take the nose wherever he wants to go. We are gonna read this four technique end right here. We're gonna read him with the left guard and left tackle. If he spikes across the tackle's face, the guard gets him and then the tackle climbs to get the linebacker. If he spikes outside, the tackle gets him and then the guard climbs to get the play side linebacker. Off our rocket fake, we always dive the fullback backside because that's part of our rocket pattern. He will isolate on the mic. So here's where the ice part of the play is. Here's your isolation. We are gonna, the quarterback will send the left half in his rocket motion, getting out wide. He's gonna spin around like he's tossing rocket. He's not gonna toss it though. He's gonna give him a good head fake with his eyes. And he's gonna come back inside and hand it to the right halfback who will take his drop step, aiming for the center's butt and find his pick'em hole. The pick'em could be the A gap, B gap, 
C-gap. Wherever this is on this side, he just needs to find it and hit it. Once again, we're going to use the defense's overreaction to create us seams without pulling anybody. That's the other beauty of this play. Once you understand the concept of it, there's very little moving parts, and it's a highly effective and efficient play. So that is Sally off our ISO. Um, this is Sally Ice off our rocket toss. The next one is one I used for years in Danbury. And actually, here on my page, you can see this version of Sally off of the sprint, off our sprint action, off of jet motion. You could look on, on the YouTube page, look for the Sally play, and this is the one you're gonna see. So once again, on the backside, we're firm. We're gonna be very firm on the backside. We're gonna get jet motion across to try to get some movement from these linebackers. Now, where this Sally, and I drew it up against even fronts because I showed you against odd the reads and all that, we are gonna read the three technique tackle in both situations. Here's the read, this gentleman right here. I'm sorry. Here's the read, okay? In this situation, the read is gonna be with the center and the guard. And this is like a scoop situation, almost like on his own backside. I got this from my friend Don Chivas, and it makes a lot of sense. Delaware doesn't do it this way, but this is just another variation, I think, of a highly effective way you can do this. You take the center and guard, and you kind of scoop this thing. If he spikes into the center, the center takes him, the guard climbs to the, to, to the linebacker. If he spikes wide, the guard takes him, the center climbs. So now we're getting a seal. We're gonna pass set anything that comes here. There's nobody here, so he'll just pass set and look for work. We're gonna pass set this gentleman right here and look for work. If they overreact, this is gonna bust wide open into the field. We got him covered with, let's just say he spikes into the A-gap, so guard's gonna cover. We're gonna pass set him. Nobody comes, go get that linebacker. We got the jet motion coming across to try to get these guys out the way. Flowing, even this gentleman will move enough to probably make that block easier. We're going to fake our sprint pass where the fullback would act like he's kicking out the apex player, just like on sprint. Quarterback's going to face out like it's 800 scat, and he's going to mesh up with the halfback who's taking his drop step and aiming at the center's butt once again. As you will see on the video, and I have video of this on my YouTube page, you will see how this thing just opens up by itself by the defense being undisciplined and over-aggressive. The last version of this against the even front is off of the belly action, which you've seen in previous videos and is uh, the original way this play was probably designed to play. I mean, the, the original way this play was designed was off of belly action and dive action, actually, that was rooted in Delaware. So the same principle applies as in all the other plays. The backside of the line is going to block firm, firm. Okay, nobody's here, pop his feet, look for work, go get one of these two gentlemen, however it works out. The read will be the three technique tackle. No, in this situation, the one technique tackle will be the read because the strength is over here with the tight end. The center and guard will read the reaction of this one technique. If he spikes into the A-gap, center will take him, guard will climb. If he tries to spike outside, the guard will take him, center will climb. So now we're taken care of on, on the backside. Backside tackle is going to pass set this guy, bring him up the field, lock on, turn him out. We're aiming for the center's butt. We're hoping for an overreaction of the defense once again. We got some motion behind it off the belly and option, so we should be able to create a parting of the season here and sneak this wing back right up the middle of the defense untouched. Usually sadly plays when they're ran to perfection, you'll see it's big gains and guys are usually untouched. They don't get touched to the 20, 30 yards down the field. Sally is a very, very, I'm not going to say easy, but it's an efficient play that once you understand the rules of it, and I hope I explained it clear enough, everybody should have a version of Sally in their offense. It's a, a great play, and you could run it with ages, like I said earlier in the video, from 7 to 16 with no problems, any aspect of you football. It's um, one of my favorite plays. Honestly, it's probably my favorite play in the system. And wherever I go, it's always a must-have. So until the next time, Coach Career, General Gridiron.